Hi everyone, we are live and we got our, as usual, gorgeous model Ella. She will be uh, showing us uh, how to build a panel, a set of panels here. Uh, we'll be doing a few panels and demonstrating them. Uh, she'll be showing you all the different uh, components that will come in the box uh, when you get the, uh, the do-it-yourself, the you-do set. And, uh, I'm sorry? Honeydew. Oh, the honeydew set, yes. Uh, as you can tell... Uh, I'm not the one who puts these together. So, at any rate, um, we'll start from there. And uh, excuse us for our slightly more coarse voice. Uh, we were just uh, coming back from uh, being a little under the weather. So, um, we'll wait a few more moments until people join. Meanwhile, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them here in the comments. Uh, if we see them during the live uh, stream, we'll be uh, responding. And otherwise... Um, We'll comment on them later, and we'll respond later with uh, pictures and everything, just like always. All right, so um, currently with one viewer, but hopefully that will go up. Um, go ahead, and uh, I think we should start. Oh, we're up to three. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. So today we're going to build, or I'm going to show you how to assemble an Econoline 3 rail, and I'll just kind of walk you through the best way to assemble it at home. So if you come over here, um, once you open your box, I I think it's best to uh, separate all your different pieces. So we have long pieces here, uh, short pieces here, our legs in a different box. And that, we need, that way you can uh, just easily find what you need when you're building. And then um, the same with your fittings. It's kind of hard to see. We did that. It's dark, but uh, it's best to separate your fittings out so you know where you're looking. And of course your glue. Uh, I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on your gluing today because this seems to be an issue that comes up a lot. Um, we changed our, our glue, they, I don't know if they changed their, like, just their packaging or what, but it seems a little different than the glue we used to have, and um, I think it, this glue separates a lot easier, so if it's been sitting around, uh, the chemicals aren't mixed up very well and your gluing isn't going to be as good. So um, this is a fresh can. It hasn't been opened or used. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it hasn't been, when the chemicals have been separated. So you can see it's like really runny. If you look on the inside, you can see the different colors of the glue. Can't see it too well here, but... So... You'll probably be able to see this if you do it at home. But what I recommend is you just shake it up, give it like just a few good shakes, and you should be good to go. Um, another thing that somebody brought up was that the glue was expired because on the bottom it says May 2017. That is not the expiration date. Um, if you read on the side of the uh, can it says uh, to use the glue within three years of that date so it is not expired uh, you just need to shake it up and you should be good to go um, so I'll just lay out all the different pieces you're gonna need to make one panel I'll just make one panel at a time so it doesn't get confusing for you guys so um, you're gonna need two elbow pieces your 90 degree fittings and two crosses. Um, I know some of you had the earlier version of the Econoline where you only needed one cross, but now we have two because it comes standard with three legs. It adds extra stability and uh, a customer actually did that on their own and sent us pictures and we thought it was a great idea, so we just decided to change our design to match that. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. And then you're going to need five T's like these. Just lay out your pieces that you need. I kind of set them out how they go together. So like the, el the elbows will go with these T's for making the leg pieces and then these are for the middle piece. So I put those together. Um, you're going to need six long pieces of pipe. So just set those out there. You're going to need 
six short pieces of pipe. And three legs. For this video, I'm not going to glue the legs because these panels are being shipped out to somebody and when we ship them, we ship them without the legs so they can fit in a box and go ground and save you guys a lot of money on shipping. So I'll show you how it would be done, but I'm not going to glue it. Um, so first, I make the legs. The legs are going to have three or two of these. Make sure your glue is shaken up. Make sure this is closed when you shake it up because I've done that before and glue went everywhere. Okay, so this is very important. Um, when you glue, you need to glue on the inside of your fitting. Give it a few uh, coats. If you can look on the inside, it's even, it's everywhere, it's not dripping out. That's a good layer of glue that you need. And then you need to glue the same on the outside of the pipe where it's going to go into the fitting. So again, you want to make sure it's an even coat all the way around. And then you just slide it in. You want to make sure it's all the way in there. You can kind of, you probably can't see in here, but in person you can kind of look in there and make sure it's all reached the end. And that's how you do the first one. And then we're going to do... A T. Glue on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe. Make sure it's on there even. And then this part, this is where a table comes in handy because you want to make sure these are even when you put them together so your panel isn't crooked. So you just kind of make sure they're both flat here. You can kind of slide this in here, make sure they're straight, and then you can use the table as leverage to push it in all the way. And you can see it's they're on their flat, it's not wobbly, they're not crooked. Um, if it does become crooked, I can show you how to fix that. I can make um, one of the other ones crooked and then I can show you how you can fix that it's that you made it crooked. So like even though it's crooked, it's uh, your panel is not ruined. Unless it's been like hours or days and your glue is completely dried and then there's nothing you can do. But so if it's crooked, you want to fix it right away. So next one, glue on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe. And sometimes the glue will run. Um, I mean, it should dry pretty quickly, but you can just kind of turn it so it doesn't drip everywhere. And BJ is asking, should you be generous with the glue? Does that make putting them together easier? Um, yeah, so some of our bigger uh, panels, the fittings can be really tight, so if if you feel like it's getting it's too hard to put in, uh, you can use a little extra glue and it'll definitely make it easier to put the fitting or the pipe into the fitting. So we'll do our last T here, glue on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe that's going to go into the fitting. Again, you want to make sure this is sitting flat. This one is also sitting flat, and then you can just slide it in there. And make sure it's all the way in. All right, and then for demonstration purposes, you would do the same thing. You would take your glue, glue on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe here for your leg, put your leg in. Okay, so we set that off to the side. We made our first leg. Um, you can make the middle piece or the other leg. I tend to do the legs first so I don't get confused with how I'm assembling things. And the glue can be really messy. As you can see, this is the table where I assemble a lot of panels and it's very messy from like glue. Also, um, I have glue stained clothing so if you care about your clothes that you're wearing, make sure like you change your clothes into something uh, you don't care if it has glue on it. Maybe you could put a tarp or something down on the table just to make sure that yeah, if, if anything Yeah, if it's the drips. table you don't, like you uh, don't want stain, you can put like a tarp or a cardboard box or whatever. So, so you always have that option. <clears throat> Again, glue 
on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe. <clears throat> if you are one of the people who have issues with your panels falling apart after you've put them together, uh, most likely your glue is not shaken up so the chemicals weren't in the right order, um, or you didn't fully put a good coat on the inside of your fitting and the outside of your pipe. They both have to have glue on them because the chemicals in the glue uh, will melt the plastic and then they bond together and it creates like a cement like bond so if you don't do that then it will definitely come apart and a little later I can show you somebody that returned some panels to us and they had fully assembled them and decided they didn't like them and then they took them apart and you can see that they glued the fittings but not the pipe and that was the only reason they could get them apart so Finish this leg. And another thing about the glue is if it's uh, really breezy, it might make your glue dry faster and it might be difficult for you to uh, get your pipe and everything fit together before it dries. So, in that case, you might want to uh, either wait till it's less breezy or um, just use a little extra glue so it dries a little slower and then uh, you can also fix any mistakes that you make. Erin's commenting, very cool. Thank you, Erin. And, oh, I was going to tell you that I was going to make this, this one crooked. So if it's crooked, you can see it's wobbly. Um, if this one's sitting flat on the table, the other one is not. You can see. Um, it doesn't sit quite flat it's wobbly and when I put when I put the panel together you will see that uh, the panel is not straight and then I can show you how to fix it. Okay, I'm going to make our middle piece now. So your middle piece is consists of one T on the top and then two crosses. Gluing on the inside of the fitting, outside of the pipe, and sometimes um, I twist the pipe if it's if if the glue is really runny. It kind of helps uh, even the coat. So not all the pieces you can turn because obviously if you turned those they would be crooked and then they might dry crooked. And but like this first pipe I put in here, you can twist it if you want. Um, even. The, the side of the glue for instructions uh, recommends that, but obviously we can't do that for every piece. So that's why you want to make sure you have a really good even coat on both of the pipe and the fitting. And you just want to make sure that's straight, it's not crooked, it's not wobbly. on here. Straight. Okay. Oh, and then um, again, you would put a leg on the middle piece too if you have the three leg version, which most people do at this point. So again, you would glue on the inside of your fitting, outside of your pipe, put your third leg on. So I mean, technically this would be your middle leg instead of just the middle piece. So now I'm going to show you how to finish the panel. So you take your first leg. We're going to, you should have six long pieces out here. Glue on the inside of the fitting and the outside of the pipe. And these ones you can definitely twist. I kind of twist them until they don't want to anymore and then I know it's really set in there good.
and you definitely don't have to twist the pipe once it's in there but if you do just kind of pay attention because the twisting kind of can like the pressure inside pushes the pipe back out a little bit so you want to still make sure it's in all the way meanwhile for everyone who's joining um, Ella's putting together an econoline set uh, she's showing uh, all the different principles of gluing it and how it should all be done. She will be showing if you had glued it a little crooked, how to fix it uh, within good time. Uh, and meanwhile, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. We'll be uh, I'll be asking Ella as we're going. All right. So now we put the middle piece on. Uh, this part can be a little tricky just because you have to make sure you have glue on. It. In the inside of all three fittings and the outside of all these pipes because they have to go on at the same time. So in that case I do go a little heavier on the glue in the fittings just so it stays wet long enough. So once you have that then I do the pipe. So in this case, it could drip on, the glue can drip on the floor, so you might want to put some cardboard or plastic or something down to um, keep the glue from getting all over the place. All right, next, you just I start with just one fitting, get one in there, just go down the line, get them all in there a little bit, and then you turn it up, and then you can just push them all down. And when they're all down all the way, and that's how you do that. And then we do the same thing again, the second part of our long pieces. Now, I'll also mention if uh, this seems like too much work for any of you, uh, they do make prefabs, so uh, they'll manufacture it for you, and our lovely Ella will probably be the one building it for you. Probably. <laughs> All right, and this was our leg that we made crooked. And again, these all have to go on at the same time, so you might want to go a little heavier on the glue. So you just get one in there, put the next one. And since it was crooked, this might be a little difficult because this isn't angled right there. You can see this is angled down. I'm not sure if you can see, but they're, they're a little difficult to get in there. So I usually just use myself as leverage to get these in. But you can definitely just turn it up and put it on the ground and use push push it down to hit it in the other way. So I'm not sure. It might have fixed itself just because there's so many pieces. So I mean it's not really crooked. It's it's sitting here pretty flat. Um, I can tell you that if it was crooked, I can kind of make it crooked. So if you twist it, it will not look. You can see it's crooked like that. So if it comes out like that, you can just stand it up and then just twist it into how it's crooked and then you can just make it straight again. So you can see it's straight again. There you have it. And you just, you wanna make sure if it is crooked, you wanna make sure you do it while the glue has not fully dried and set in. And um, that can be pretty quick depending on like the environment or how much glue you used, but um, yeah, that's how you can fix a crooked panel. That's how you assemble one of these panels. Do you want to just show without gluing, putting in the legs? Yeah. Just so they could see what a, an assembled panel looks like. So just we're going to pretend we're putting glue on this. As we mentioned earlier, we're not going to be doing the glue on this just now uh, for shipping purposes. But uh, assuming you had done the glue the same way you did all the other ones, you can go from there, Ella. Yeah, or if you did get a prefab, um, this is how it'll come out of the box. And you'll have loose legs like this, and you'll have to put them in yourself anyways. So um, you can glue them in, or you don't have to. Most of them will stay in by themselves. We definitely recommend that you glue 
all your pieces together so it doesn't come apart and you don't have to worry about it but we do have some people that don't glue in the legs just for storage purposes but again we recommend that you glue it so you can just see without the glue it can be kind of tight and hard to get in we do recommend that you put together one panel without glue first just so you know how to how you're going to line everything up and uh, just kind of get the hang of things so you don't make as many mistakes and get your panels crooked. So if you do put it together without glue first, you'll notice that it's kind of hard. It's really tight to get the pipe inside the fittings. Um, so just know that when you move on to the gluing step, it does get a lot easier. So don't think they're all going to be really hard to do. So once you have all the legs in, this is what it looks like. And again, we, we added the third leg to all the panels because it adds extra stability here. So, so that's how you make one of those. Okay. And um, Ella, you want to do one more panel just in case uh, people wanted to see it again? Yeah, I can do one more panel. All right. We're going to do one more from uh, start to finish. She's going to go a little quicker on this one. So um, you can see in real time how it goes. First one obviously was uh, mostly just uh, for showing instructions. This one is going to be a little quicker. Aaron's asking, is there a picture diagram explanation as well? Uh, yeah, our instructions do come with uh, like little drawings that kind of show each step. And we do have a full assembly video um, on every single one of our panels that you can ask us for the link for if you want to watch a longer video. So yeah, we do have uh, lots of visuals for that. Thanks for the question, Aaron. Being a little silent here, uh, but Ella's concentrating. At any rate, if you guys have any questions, any other questions, uh, feel free to post them here. Um, well, I'll ask Ella as she's going. Slow her down a little bit. And as I mentioned earlier, if you do want Ella to build the majority of the panel for you, um, we're happy to do that. Uh, they do have the prefab options. Prefab options for all of our all of our corrals. They come in uh, either you do, where you just get the fittings and you do everything else yourself, um, or Honeydew, where it's a complete kit but you still assemble it all yourself, or We Do, which is the prefabs, and they come to you uh, like how you could just open the box and set them up like that.
Aaron's asking, are there numbers on the parts to show which ones connect to which parts? There are not numbers, <laughs> no. We haven't gotten that far yet, Aaron. <laughs> but that's a great idea. We'll see how we can incorporate that. Yeah, for sure. I, I've thought about that. I just, I'm not, there's so many pieces that it would be pretty difficult to get everything numbered. But there aren't that many different pieces that you should be able to tell the difference. And um, if anyone missed at the beginning of the video, I uh, showed how it's best to separate all your different pieces into different bins or boxes and then you can uh, easily tell the difference and get exactly what you need without having to search around for it. So if you get a honeydew box, um, everything might be pretty jumbled uh, from shipping, so it's best to just lay everything out uh, and separate the different components. Well, you want to mention uh, what the current pricing is? I'm not sure if you recall. I, I don't recall. We don't recall offhand. That's uh, that's BJ's job. BJ, you might want to comment here uh, what pricing is for uh, a prefab and everything else. We'll have uh, all the pricing. You can also visit the page or campcorrals.com uh, to see all the different options and all the prices. Yeah, I'm not sure if our Cyber Week deals are still up. Uh, they might be, so if they are, you might want to jump on that before the website is updated. A question that might come up, Ella, I haven't seen it here yet, but how long would you say it would take to uh, assemble uh, from start to finish? something like this for you know a beginner someone who hasn't done this uh, several times um, I'd probably set aside uh, an hour or two uh, you definitely don't want to rush through it um, maybe just start with uh, putting one panel together to get a feel for it and then you can kinda once you know what you're doing you can go a little faster so so, okay. I mean, most people report like an hour, an hour and a half for most of our corral sets. So. Okay, you want to just put the legs in one last time without the glue and we'll go from there. This is almost completed panel number two. Again, it would be shipped without the legs, even on the prefab. Uh, when it's a honeydew, you get all the different components, including the pipe. And, uh, and then, um, I'm not sure if we have this one up as you do, but um, we should shortly. And for you do kits, uh, you just get the the fittings, the furniture grade fittings. Um, these are the correct fittings to use if you're going to do a you do kit. It's better than getting the white plumbing PVC fittings at your hardware store because these are uh, UV resistant. Um, they're stronger. They're made like your lawn furniture outside. They're meant to be outside and exposed to sunlight and they're just stronger. So, so here's your second panel. And that's there it is. Alright, and uh, BJ just posted uh, the link for the cyber deals and Aaron also asked, do these work with all sizes of horses? Uh, we have different size panels, Aaron, for different uh, sized horses. So those specifically would probably be for standard size horses. Um, and we do have the larger ones as well. Yeah, so the three rail Econolines, they are 
four and a quarter uh, tall, so they're taller than our two two rail panels. Um, they're five feet long. Uh, that gives you a better idea. I just wanted to show you guys. Just before we wrap this uh, video up. Um, so these are. This is a return that we got, and as you can see, there's a little glue residue on here, but it's just from the glue being on the inside of the fitting and not the outside of the pipe. That is the only reason they could get the fitting off of this pipe with glue still on it. So this, the pipe is still intact. It hasn't been like changed at all. It's still completely smooth. So if your panel is falling apart, and it comes apart like this, you did not glue it properly. So we have lots of videos and uh, you can learn how to do that properly and get your panels all squared away. So. All right, I think that's it for us for today. Uh, join us tomorrow, probably around the same time. We're gonna be uh, showing how to do the trailer fittings. Uh, and Yeah, and we'll show you how to put the trailer attachment on your trailer. We'll show you how to hook your panels up to the trailer attachment, and then uh, we can take any questions as well. I'll uh, kind of show you a little bit about our bungees, um, and some people have some issues uh, getting them on. I can kind of show you some tricks of how to get it to work better. I have some Velcro straps that I can show you as well, and I can just kind of tell you the difference between the two and what I like to use the bungees for and what I like to use the Velcro straps for. So stay tuned for that. Okay, and we'll have a lot of more, a lot more interesting videos coming up. Uh, some experts talking about different things, all sorts of great ideas that we're coming up with. And if you have any ideas for live videos as well, uh, please feel free to share them with us, and uh, we'll be happy to try and see how we can make that happen. Thanks so much again for joining, and have a great rest of your Saturday. Thanks for watching.